Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. So we've got a rather special payload on the launch pad today. It's this. This is my brand new development, which is a shuttle. And it actually has a payload on the back. So it's almost like a proper shuttle. So we're using stock parts, so no stock part has like an actual, you know, cargo bay kind of thing that you can open up. So this is my new design. So we've got an actual decoupler here which means a whole quite a big payload can be put on. So we've got this new module we're taking up to the space station. And then this means this can actually return to this whole vehicle here. And we also have very odd staging. So we've got a, a decoupler up here. So kind of in a quite a odd place to have a decoupler. But it seems to be working okay. So I've done my test flights with this and it's now time to do proper mission and we've got Bill. It's usually Jeb, but I don't know where Jeb is right now. I've got to find out something. We must have left him in space somewhere. So anyway, we're taking this puppy up. And she's flying nice and straight. Wait a minute. These engines should be on. Looks like we're about to lose the boosters. There they go. And away they go. Yeah, it looks like we've messed up the staging. Let's put these down here then. Activate them. There we go. Must have moved things around before I launched. Okay. So we're going nice and straight. If it's a game to fast forward a little bit. I like the new cables how it's strong enough now that you can actually fast forward while launching. That's pretty epic. Uh, let's just have a quick check. We've got RCS on this thing, so we should be able to easily maneuver it. I might be missing. I think we've, we've got one there, one here, but we don't have one underneath. I think I might have been. I might have forgot to put that on. Because we have one at the back, so. I think, do we? No, I don't think we have. Great. We might lack a bit of RCS uh, maneuverability. Should be okay, though. Okay, right, let's start our. Maneuver. Nice and easy. The other thing is the way this decoupler works is actually probably best to face backwards and put the engines up a little bit of thrust and then decouple so it actually thrusts away from us rather than uh, rather than the usual. Or may maybe it will face toward the planet and do that. But, uh, as long as it moves away from us, it's good. And preferably not staying in orbit. Alright, we appear to be going up really good. So we, we do have a rather big payload on board. But it's quite a light payload, it's just uh, uh, structural pieces. So there's nothing in them. We have a few batteries, but that's about it. And our new solar panels, which should look good when extended. So, it looks like our space shuttle, uh, space station is not that far ahead of us. That's pretty handy. We launched it at the right time. I think it's quite far ahead of us though, actually. But we'll see. We might just be able to catch it. Probably get there with these two big engines as well. This is hopefully the joy of this game. I hate leaving these big engines up in orbit now because they're, they're so freaking good that you can easily get them in orbit. So the idea is we turn around, we decouple, and then with these these two still thrust it, and they'll deorbit themselves. That's the that's the plan. Okay, we are continuing to. Oh, bit of a wobble now that we're fast forward. I think it's because we've got a bit of a off center thrust capability here. Okay, let's cut. Right. Wow, we are uh, we are quite a bit off course. We're gonna have to fix that. Do we fix it now or do we fix it later? We're not even in orbit yet. 
Like that's where we should have fixed it. So yeah, it's not much point fixing it at this point. Anyway. All right, let's get ourselves into orbit. So our closest point will actually be there, which is actually pretty darn close. Let's just thrust up and see. Oh. See how close we can actually get this. Uh, not close enough, I don't think. Well, let's at least get this thing into orbit. Right, I need to find our. We looks like we are going to run out of fuel on these engines. Pretty snappily. I think we can still deorbit her though. So we got a five second burn. We'll do the five second burn, then we shall deorbit this thing. Come on now. Come on. Right, locked in. Fast forward for six minutes. Look at that. It looks like we're so damn close. So we can just fly to it. But we can. That's not how not space doesn't work like that. Alright. Five second burn. Make sure we're bang on turret. Good stuff. Uh, cut. So what I want to do is just flip around. Then we'll, we'll get the engines thrusted up. And then we shall ditch them. Send them off into deep space. Alright, RCS on, try and get this thing stopped. Come on, come on. Overdid it, damn it. Come on now, you can do this. We need to make sure we get this thing nice and steady. We don't wanna we don't wanna go ripping anything off my space shuttle when these two engines go flying by. Okay, lock it in. A little bit of fast forward that should stabilize us. Okay. Engines on. Disconnect, cut. Ooh, fuck. There she goes. So they should deorbit uh, if everything goes well. Bye bye. Yeah, they should deorbit and then burn up in the atmosphere. That looks pretty awesome. Okay, so we are going to get relatively close, but not exactly. So we, we desperately need to fix our orbit for a start. Let's see about, I'm going to bring this blue line right out to the edge. I think it's actually, is it? It must be perfectly there, is it? Or is it? You know what, it looks like it's too far. Uh, there, I think. Okay, so a little burn. I, mean, I don't know how stable this thing's going to be. I've not actually used it in orbit. Because obviously its engines are off center, so I don't know if it's going to be able to hold its position. Yeah, look, it's. Eh, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. That was a bit. Uh, yeah, that was slightly early. I think it worked, though. So we're going to want to do our maneuver here that flattens out our line. Something. No, I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, that should be perfect. Right, let's find this. There's our mark. We're locked in. Uh, 45 second burn. It won't be that long because we were burning a minimum thrust. So it's calculating a minimum thrust. Right, uh, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. 
So yeah, she is quite a bit ahead of us. So we're going to have to go under the orbit. We're burning a bit late, but it should be okay. No, we are still looking at a 40 second burn on these engines. So we burnt way too late. So this is the actual craft itself. You can see our payload on the back here. It's almost like a, f a flat loader truck. With some RCS fuel, we've got a lot of actual lift is coming from the, the body. We've got wings under here, or wings under here. So it's a lifter body kind of design. But we do have plenty of wings outside just to add the lift so that she can still glide down. Alright, uh, we're looking at four, three, two, oh, I think we're done. I don't think we're going to be correct it any further. Not here anyway. So now we need to get under, under his orbit so that we can catch up with him. Actually, holy crap, look, intersection two. We'll be close as hell. How close will we be? 9.9 .9 kilometers. It's not close, but it's not bad. Let's see if we can improve this with a small burnout here somewhere. That's helping. Let's see. Need to just accelerate a little bit. There. That looks pretty good. So that's us down to 3.6. Let's do a little bit of height. Don't know if it up or down is what we want. I think that way actually is the way to go. I want to get this little marker over there. Ooh. There. That would give us 0 0.6. That would be freaking brilliant. Okay. Uh, two second burn in five minutes time. All right. I think this module is going to look really good when it's connected up to the station. Going to add a bit of flare. I don't think we have any. Of the, do we have any of the big solar panels? I don't think so. It's been a while though. It feels like it's been a while since I've been up there. Alright, here we go. We're closing in on our target. Ah, shoot. Now I switched accidentally to Kerbin. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of this node where we burn in for 2 seconds at 20 seconds. Let's fast forward a little bit then. Because I want to do this manually. Okay, so thrust up. Four kilometers, three kilometers, two, one, one point six. Yeah, open. Okay, okay, we're gonna go up if we keep doing it. Well, we could three sixty this thing, do a little burn, just to improve this slightly. I'm not sure if that's actually. Did we just three sixty or not? No, we didn't, did we? This is gonna totally mess us up a bit. All right, let's try. Yeah, it's not helping. Let's just keep it there. Oh, point eight million, uh, kilometers is fine. So we have uh, twenty six minutes to wait. So you can see this is how we're catching up with them because we're going underneath his orbit here. We're actually so this means we're going faster. So we are closing in on them. Right, now what we need, we, we can see here, this is our target, it's now switched to. Now that we're close to him, so we need to find our point of deacceleration, which is basically facing away from our target. And we need to be able to stop this thing really quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a node down here. I'm not going to do anything with it. It's just so I can see how long away that is. So I think... He is pretty much behind us right now, so he is out there somewhere, uh, I believe. So let's, we're only one minute away from our target. Uh, one minute 40, but we're, yeah, we're damn close. Okay, we are now, so we're moving pretty damn fast compared to him. We need to make sure we don't crash into him. I have no idea where he is now. Could he be behind us still? Probably is. We're now less than a minute from target. Uh, he is five kilometers away. Probably not rendering yet. 
still f over half a minute to go. Let's fast forward. Right, we're now coming down to 20 seconds. Still looking at the point of deacceleration. So I'm ready to slow this puppy down and start doing it now. Right, so we are... Let's go for full thrust. We're now 10 seconds away from our closest point. No visual. Could be on anywhere. We're slightly moving off our target. Let's keep this down. You know what? We're actually closing in. We're 5 meters a second now. That's pretty darn good. Let's just try and get that down even lower. You should be really close now. Get rid of this. So what I don't want to do is just slow down completely. It's, that'll be enough, I think. So we point ourselves towards the circle pink thing. That should be him. So I don't know how close he actually is. Oh, there he is! There's nothing better than that, that view. So now we just want to point right arm and thrust. So if we go for max thrust, we definitely pull uh, because of our mis mismatched engine setup there. So we just, add, I think two thirds seems to be, the SAS seems to be able to keep that stable. All right, 20 meters a second, that seems handy. The good thing as well, this shuttle seems to be quite maneuverable, doesn't it? Not as slow and cumbersome as my old one. It's a good uh, good improvement over the old generation. Alright, so we're coming in nice and quick. We can see both docked vessels. There's the top bit for the... Uh, actually, that's the top bit that's supposed to be for shuttles and, and space planes. Which I never really... I'm not going to be using on this because this has the only has the big docking port. I'm going to slow down nice and steady. So I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to dock this to. Five meters. Four. Three meters. I'm bringing now just down to complete stop. And now we're going the other way. Turn my ass around. I want to be not going like laterally compared to him at all. Well, my brain's getting a bit confused there. Let's press on buttons. It's nice and easy. Okay, so. Four. Three. I'm just trying to be like so gentle now. Alright, 0 0.1 is pretty darn good. Okay, let's switch over. Let's put the lights off and then back on just to make sure we get it again. Okay, so we have small docking ports here. Is that a small docking port or is that a big one? It's a big one, isn't it? So we do have some of these solar panels. So those are the small ones. It's a big one. We have another big one down here by the escape pods. Another big one up here. Another big ah, oh, connect up. Actually, yeah, one of these would be cool. I mean, that would actually look really cool. Who's in here again? Yeah, this guy unfortunately is stuck in here because the door is here. But who is? I'm wondering who's in here. This guy. I want to have a look in his cockpit. Hell yeah. He may be locked in, but at least he's got the best view. That freaking beautiful. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. Switch back. So I think we'll go for that docking port. It's not yet open, which is, you know, an issue. And I've already started spinning the plane in the wrong direction. So we'll just spin this around. So yeah, I don't think I've fitted the right amount of um, RCS thrusters on this thing, so I think we may have a bit of trouble with the really close manoeuvring. But at least we can still use them for like slowing and the uh, accelerating and slowing down, which would be freaking handy. 
Okay, so it works with the thrust up. Yeah, I can already see we're slightly off target a little bit. It's just... I want to be going straight towards it. That looks better. Alright, filling us around. We're going really slow, so we should be okay. Although I think if we hit at this velocity, we would still manage to do some decent damage. But I, I believe in Bill. He's not that bad. He's not as bad as he... <laughs> he does look particularly happy. I think he's concentrating. Right. Yeah, we're kind of going off target, Bill, already. We're going to quite a big chunk off target. Yeah, at this rate we'd hit the escape vessel here. Like, I kept this ship docked because I thought it'd be useful. But now we have the new technology, it seems so outdated. Okay, let's slow my butt down. I open one I like. Okay, so we'll open up the docking port. Uh, open the shield. Hell yeah! Look at it. look at her down there. Let's actually uh, put the lights on. Yeah, that did fuck all. Yeah, it did a little bit. Okay. So swing us around again. The other thing I actually could have done as well, just now I'm thinking, wow, that, okay, that light's working well. Fuck me. It's working a little bit too well. Yeah, the front, I actually could have put a docking port on that instead of a separator. I might do that in a, a new iteration at some point. Alright, let's just do, yeah, we want it, I think we want to aim like here, so that we go under it, thrust up. Let's do a little bit of a thrust here. Alright, then we'll swing around. Damn, that light is extraordinarily powerful. I thought they were the low, the low powered ones. Okay. Alright, let's see how... Oh yeah, okay, over there. Touch too much. Actually, let's do the RCS. Let's, um, Let's use the RCS to stop us now, so the RCS on, let me figure out what freaking key to hit. There we go. Come on. Is it work? No. He's barely giving us any thrust, I think. Oh wait, no, that's totally wrong key, that's why. Oh god, I hate RCS so much. Why can I never find back? Yay, there it is. Okay, it's N. Now we're like freaking listing all over the place. RC as well. Let's get the engines fired up. Oh. Oh, God. Need to look at my navigation ball and not my actual ship. Let's see there. Thrust up. Get those lights off. Okay, come on. Got to do this more professionally now, Bell. I know you've not had quite as much uh, practice as old Jebby. I think we can do this. We can't have Jeb showing us up. Come on. Okay, I'm liking that. Right. A little more lateral. Oh, maybe a little bit too much there. It's like a little ballet. We've got absolutely tons of fuel, which is always lovely. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. And there looks good, yeah.
does not too bad actually. That was a touch too much though. Come on, give me that. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. Let's bring us up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is looking almost perfect. So now, unfortunately, we need to. F oh god, I think the uh, magnets are kicking in. Right, we need to figure out how to push ourselves the other way. And RCS on. Right. Yeah, that's the actual right button. Oh my god. We're slightly off to the side. Uh, yeah, okay, we're not quite, not quite there, so we need to do, yeah, that, no, shoot, so this thing, I don't know if we have left and right with these RCS positions. Don't think we do. That's where we're not able to. Oh, God, now I'm putting the gear down. What's that giving us? Yeah, it's pushing us the right direction. Okay, over we go. Okay, Ooh. nice and easy, Bell. Nice and easy. This is looking good. I'm liking it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Almost. Come on. Come on, Bell. You can do it. You can do this. Almost there. So the uh, RCS off. Bingo. Whew. We're there. Lights off. Lights on. 